So just give you a little update on the stuff that we got for RV. Here's our kitchen area, our drying rack and our stuff. We got a bunch of these command hooks to hook things up everywhere except that this door over here, for whatever reason, it won't hold on to that door. So we got a Berkey and we're filtering our water three times. We got the filter on the outside that we talked about in our last essentials video. I'll put a link up there for that. Have a filter in here that came with the RV. And then we also filtered through here and guess what? This Arizona water still tastes like crap. We are buying filtered water. Here's our Instapot. This thing's awesome. We can make all kinds of things in a compact space. Works really well and it saves our propane so we're not using the stove all the time. We use the stove occasionally but not very much. We haven't used the oven yet. We have used the microwave a lot though. Got all our stainless steel camping stuff in here. Uh, I could put a link to that video as well that I did a while ago. We also got a six gallon trash can from Ikea that fits perfectly here underneath our sink. And we brought our Vitamix with us so we can make smoothies. We got ourselves a electric skillet again so we don't have to use up our propane when we're plugged in. Cell phone holder that goes in the cup holder so that I can have my cell phone available when I'm driving. Put maps or something on it and it's great because you can loosen this back up and turn it sideways like that. Push this button and it extracts and put your phone in there and tighten it up. Put power adapter in there and charge stuff while I'm driving down the road. We got this uh, window shade for the front of the RV. Have a little more privacy and we can put stuff in the front of our RV to store stuff when we're not driving. So we got a cart. Holds up like this. And over here you can see we have all of our stuff hooked up. Stuff's been working pretty well for us because there's five of us and these benches are really only good for like two people each. So my wife found this at Ikea. It works great as a seat and you can see we can put a blanket in it. It's awesome. We got ourselves a little Dyson. This is a V6 animal. It's pretty powerful. It's not the latest model, but it works pretty well for this small space. About three hours of charge and lasts for about 16 minutes, which is about enough to do the whole RV. Probably not a deep cleaning, but you can do a quick overall cleaning. And there's our wand attachment for our Dyson. We got rugs too. Here's another fun thing we got. So that first night in our RV in Petrified Forest, I can put a link up to here for that video as well. Sammy rolled out of bed and landed on the floor. So we got this thing that comes out from under the bed. You're gonna show us? It's not really designed for this kind of a bed. So you kind of have to lift it up, nag a little bit. It works. Yeah, I climb up dad's knee and he puts it up. And you pull these up. Flips back down. Put that up. And slide it in. You got this um, thing that could hang our clothes after we wash them so they can dry. And it goes onto the rod in the bathroom. That is our bathroom. Here's the fun stuff that I get to install. So even though we have really good internet at the RV place we're at right now, we still have issues with some of our devices not being able to talk to it because they aren't really designed for long range. So we got a pep wave. We'll do what's called Wi-Fi as a WAN. This is what you call a Yagi antenna. It's a directional antenna, got a cable for it that will plug into this and then run across the roof and into the RV somehow and it will plug into where the antenna plugs in. So this is where our electronics are all gonna go and I need to figure out how to get from here to the roof. So we won't be using this antenna, we'll be using this antenna, which will give us a much more focused and higher powered beam straight at their Wi-Fi access point. We also got a 12 volt adapter for it so that we can plug it into the battery power I also got one of these so we can have more plugs in there but I still have another problem too is that I got to run 12 volt battery power into there too. We're in a place that doesn't have very good Wi-Fi or we're out in the middle of nowhere that's what we got this for. So that's just a Wi-Fi hotspot works off cellular data 
But if we're out in the middle of nowhere where we can't get very good cellular data, then what do we do? See this red box underneath? Yeah. That's what that's for. This is a receiving antenna that goes on the roof. And I got a bunch of stuff over here to help me install it on the roof. But that's gonna be a whole other video. I'm gonna have to drill a hole like right there, real close by. That's a little close for comfort. Some people like to run it through their, their uh, vent from their fridge. I don't know. But I'm gonna do a whole nother video on this stuff, so make sure you subscribe. You can get notified when I have those videos ready. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you found it useful, be sure to check the details below. We'll have links down there with all the gear that I'm talking about today. You can use those links to purchase and it will help us out and make more videos. We appreciate your help. Thanks. See the roof of my FJ from here. This is like a continuously tedious task of moving things around, repositioning, moving more things around, repositioning, so you can move on to the next step. She gets everything from Ikea. You can get our Kindles from She got those from Amazon. What's that, Sammy? This is a rope for Dad's walking stick. Stuff that we got for RV and show off my wife's fizz drink or not. And it's great because you can like, you can loosen this back up and watch it fall off. That didn't work. Oh, <clears throat> uh, okay. Wow, that's loud. A race track across the freeway. What's the best thing that comes from a package? I don't know what comes from, what's the best thing that comes from a package? Bubble wrap. <laughs> That's a big box. Lot of stuff back here. That racetrack down there that's making so much noise. Yeah, that's not going to the video.